We are on the road heading three and a half hours upstate to a dairy farm that is for sale. Hopefully there are no cell towers, otherwise uh, you guys can watch me freak out again. So this farm is 180 acres. It is an operating dairy farm right now. It is organic certified and it's for sale. You know, the property is currently being leased and it is up and running. Uh, but what I'm more excited about are the two people involved. The real estate agent is actually a former dairyman. He's retired, he's older, I think he's in his late 70s. And he was actually interested in consulting with us and helping us along. I mean, I don't think there's a better guy to, to, to help us, to be honest. This guy probably knows more about farming than uh, everyone on YouTube combined. And the other guy buys organic beef cattle for a butcher shop. So, you know, the two people out here that are selling the property and that own the property involved, uh, you know, couldn't be more crucial to uh, potentially helping us uh, move along with this business. Uh, so I'm excited to drive up here today to meet these guys and uh, see what they have to say. I didn't actually sleep at all last night, which is one reason I'm not too enthusiastic about doing this drive. I was worried I was going to be tired, but uh, the reason I didn't sleep, I think, was because I took a probiotic supplement and in hindsight, the lactobacillus strains uh, probably gave me an allergic reaction. So that's probably why I didn't sleep. So when I woke up, I had uh, some supplements, uh, some NAC, glutathione, and ubiquinol, and I feel like I could run through a wall. So I don't think falling asleep is going to be an issue on this drive. Uh, losing my sanity, however, might be. I'm trying to stay calm, boys. I've missed two exits so far because I've been filming videos in my car. So instead of a nice three and a half hour drive, it's looking like it's gonna be four hours. So we're gonna stop filming. We're gonna focus on driving because if I miss another exit, I might actually lose it. Might actually lose it. Although there were quite a few Wi-Fi towers on the way up here, as soon as we got into this specific town, I lost cell service and it was kind of ironic because losing cell service was what I wanted but then I couldn't use my cell phone. Thankfully this is like a complete dead zone. This farm is over 200 acres already certified organic. They already have some cattle. They already have so much dairy equipment. This is four hours upstate. Uh, well three and a half hours from me. I made a few wrong turns and it took me quite a while to get here four and a half hours to actually drive up here um, spent most of the day driving and then when I got up here a couple hours talking to the person that owned the property a really cool guy uh, talked to the real estate agent a bit but this guy that owns this property also has another farm that's a mile or two away that has much more acreage but that farm is about two million dollars way over our budget except you know, in a year or two from now, if we really want to grow, uh, we can buy that farm as well if we want more acreage. It looks like we have everything we need here uh, to make this work on a small scale, get you guys dairy, get you guys eggs sooner than later. And uh, when we want to scale up and get the full butcher operation out here, get, get things fully up and running, uh, it's looking good. So, so right now, they already have these cows rotationally grazing. You guys can see they have the, the, they have the fences set up. They have the cows out there with the... So it looks like they have the cows, what, is, what do they have, like a one or two acre paddock right now and they just have them graze it all down and then yeah, they have them really lined up. So, and that's all they need. All they need is, all they need is 20 cows to uh, do some hundred gallons of milk a day. start on a small scale. Oh, how quickly things change. As optimistic as I was that this was not near any Wi-Fi or any cell structures, I spoke to the couple inside um, thankfully they showed up while we were looking at the property because you know I took a look inside the dairy barn I took a look around and I was like hey this looks pretty good I can definitely make this work uh, although it is kind of dumpy really really sweet couple in their early 30s they basically told me look this property is way overpriced for the amount of money you're looking to spend you can get twice as much acreage much nicer facilities something that's really ready and up and running uh, so she gave me a list of websites that she's been looking at. I actually told her, hey, listen, I'll pay you um, commission hourly if, if you want to give me a list of properties that you've been looking at uh, that you have in mind too. Uh, so this is definitely uh, not going to be the property, I think. Uh, one, because they would probably have to give them a three or four month notice. 
and, and two I don't think the guys are gonna go low enough on this property for me to want to buy it and uh, you know three if I can get a property that's closer to New York City that's higher acres that's a better fit uh, we're gonna find out so uh, you know we're getting closer you know as we go on this journey uh, looking through these farms you know we're learning a lot very quickly and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what properties I'm going to get a hold of uh, within the next week or two and then hopefully we can close in on something before the end of July uh, hypothetically get something that we can move into a lot sooner that doesn't have people already living there I mean so that's the update uh, we have more of uh, an idea of what the markets like what is out there what we can actually find uh, logistically I know exactly now what I need uh, to start up the operation how much capital I need, how much down payment I need uh, for the initial farm, you know, what stuff we need to buy. Uh, so I I'm really optimistic. You know, once I get home, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look up some properties, uh, get a list of stuff, see what we can dial in on. Uh, if you guys, you know, want to support me, of course, there, there's the stuff all down in the comments below. If you guys do want to support the farm venture in any capacity whatsoever, uh, you guys can uh, go to the website, uh, skybluefarm.com, and... Uh, Sign up for the newsletter and uh, I'll try to get an, uh, I should have an email set up for the site already, uh, info at skybluefarm.com. Uh, the only thing I really wish is that I got started on this a little bit sooner. You know, I, I wish I kept looking back in February and March and that I was able to uh, figure things out and really dial in on a property. I got another long uh, four hour drive home, so uh, we're going to head back now. Overall thoughts on the day, you know, I'm not really sure how much I actually need these outside people and that I, I should be able to figure out a lot of this stuff on my own. Uh, you know, and, and if we get the right property that has a lot of the infrastructure already set up, you know, we won't have to worry about building too many facilities, buying too much outside stuff, and uh, the initial operation shouldn't really take more than, uh, than one or two people. Just a quick update on the farm search. Uh, when I got home, I looked up some properties, found something that was so perfect. I called the real estate agent this morning. Unfortunately, that property might already be sold. The seller already accepted an offer. I put in a higher offer, so we'll see what happens. If I can get that property, uh, which is a bit closer in Pennsylvania, all new facilities, new structures, high acreage, I could not ask for a better property, but it's probably sold. If, if we don't get that property, which is seemingly perfect, this might not actually happen this year because I know a lot of dairy farms are closing. I know there's a lot of properties out there and I don't want to spend money on something that has, you know, facilities that need to be built because then I got to wait for a loan for the money to build the facilities or subpar acreage or land. Uh, so hopefully things pan out and, and we do get something good within the next month or two. If that doesn't happen though, um, it, it's not going to happen this year and it might not happen for uh, who knows how much longer. I mean, guys, if I had, you know, two, three million dollars, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But I only have so much money I can put down on the property. And then we have to see if we get a loan. If we don't get a loan, I have to put myself in a position where I can make it work without the loan. And that's why we're being a little specific with the property. So uh, just thought I'd give you guys that update. Um, you know, there are a bunch of other properties that are fairly close uh, to the one that is perfect. It's just they're further away. You know, they're four, four and a half hours into Pennsylvania, into upstate New York. And I have a feeling if I get a property that's too far away, I'm going to regret it down the line and I'm not going to want to actually live there myself. Update number three for you guys as my hair gets crazier and crazier. Uh, so that property that I just put the offer in on was listed at like 840. Uh, the buyer accepted an offer for 740 and I bid at 800 and I told him I would put more cash down. So I'll probably know within two or three weeks if that property is definitely sold or not. I know I said that there were a couple of properties that are close to this ideal property but are a bit further away. I actually just checked on antennasearch.com if there were any Wi-Fi or cell towers near those properties and about four out of five of them actually had a new tower built within a mile of the property and you guys have to understand that if you can visibly see a, one of these new towers you're getting radiated like you're standing next to a microwave that's turned on like you have a, 
a cell phone on right next to your head and they can turn the levels up of these towers. So there's no compromise on getting a property near these towers, near the cell infrastructure. So are there, you know, 10, 15, 20 properties that I would buy right now? Yeah, if there weren't cell towers nearby. And the only two properties that are feasible right now, one is like seven hours away and the other one is like it's a bit far away and the facilities aren't ideal. I want to be able to get into a place and be producing milk and eggs within two or three months. And that's very realistic if I find the right property. But again, if I don't have the facilities that I need, if the property isn't set up, I have to wait for a loan, which might take two or three or four months. Then I have to build the structures I need, which might take two, three or four months. And you guys aren't going to have dairy for six, seven, eight months a a year who knows how long so I might as well wait till next year anyway if I don't find the ideal property right now so uh, if you guys have any uh, ideas let me know uh, if you guys you know want to help support us as I said earlier there's a bunch of stuff down in the description below mm -hmm.